Oh, I can get out now? Word. Let's go. This has been an eventful 24 minutes. It won't be... Whoa. What's that over there? Come on. What's the big deal? I can't hold back any longer. What? But how? It's too soon. I'm not ready for that. What? So good. I won't make things worse, and he'll probably feel a lot better. Just the tip is fine. <laughs> what in the world is this game? It's for art. Angie. I should investigate a little. I grabbed the doorknob and turned it. Huh? Hmm. It's locked? There you go. How boring. Yep. Seems like it. I guess we can't go in. Hmm. But why is it locked? The other ultimate labs weren't locked. Oh shit, they weren't locked. <laughs> Whoa. Ah. Murder already? Oh, by the way, this lab has some kind of rear entrance at the end of the hallway. What? I'm disappointed. But that was locked too. Uh, um... If both doors are locked, how are we going to get inside? <laughs> Boy, that lab. Don't give up just yet, because I have a secret technique. As if on cue, we heard a metallic click on the lock opening. And the door slowly opened. Whoosh. <laughs> Yaha! Let's get the hell out of me. Can I help you? Hmm. Angie, you were in there? How did you find this place so fast? We just got it open. Hey, hey. I feel weird chatting out here, so let's all go inside already, okay? How pushy. Woohoo! Come in, come in. Please come in. Never polite. Angie invited us into the lab anyway. Yeah, stupid Maki won't want to share her guns with us. There are various art and cam oh carving tools make sense for an ultimate artist lab. This is all Monokuma gave you, huh? Hmm. I mean, compare Maki's lab to Angie's lab, and I would feel disappointed if I was Angie. This is a lot, don't get me wrong, but I really felt like there should be more. With Ryoma. They did him dirty. He has the worst lab ever. Karumi's was nice. Karekio's, nice. Maki's, decked out. I get to Angie's and it's all dirty. Maybe she did that, I don't know. Hmm. But why does this lab have locks? Atua has spoken. Oh. I thought she had that for me. He says this classroom was probably made for me. Huh? What does that mean? Look around, Shuichi. Oh. Uh... Oh, wait. There's only three of them. Leave it to me. I will answer that with my sexy, beautiful voice. Wait a second, we said I was gonna answer that question. You have a beautiful, sexy voice, too. Eh? No, we didn't. You shouldn't be getting even 
Why is the Minotaur? Oh. Why is Minotaur? You promised, because I don't remember you not promising. Stop it! That doesn't make any sense. Neither of you make any sense. I wish you died. I don't care. So what? Just let me do it. If you don't, I'll stick my hand up my butt, then shove it in your mouth and rattle your molars around. What the fuck? Um, considering you're a stuffed animal, I don't think it'll be as bad as I'm making it out to be. Ah! Oh, no, wait, Monodom, we, we, we weren't fighting. We were just messing around, you know? Because we're friends, you siblings. It's fine. As long as you're getting along. So? So, what's up with the key? Actually... Oh, yes, Angie's the kind of girl who can't focus on her art unless she's alone. Maybe. I must shut out all people and noises so that I can be one with the great Atua. <laughs> Atua is much too shy to be one with me in front of people. What kind of god is that? Hmm. Wow, like a porn star? Why would you think that? That's yeah, the Mona Kitty you coming out. Oh, how? It's the opposite. And then? So, any room where I'm going to make art needs to have a key. But, I'm surprised the Mona Cubs knew that. Yeah. Huh? Hmm. And these are all my favorite art supplies and sculpting tools. How did you know? Um. What should I say? I'm not a good improviser. Calm down. I'm even worse. We know everything about you bastards. They stole their memories after all. We are all friends. Because we want to be your friends. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't want to be friends with you. You remind me of Kibo. I'm only interested in Monokuma. I don't want to get friendly with knockoff products. This dude Kokichi be hit. <laughs> Damn. See, what do you say to that? Why? Why would you say that? Why do you hate me? Damn, you made his ear spring. I cannot forgive that. Made his neck spring. I won't forgive anyone who refuses to get along with me. Okay. No, no, follow down. We haven't given another key to this room, have we? Okay, here it is. But there's only one key, so don't lose it. Okay. It'd be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to lock the door or open it from the outside. Let me see that key. Swipe the key from Monofanny and then lifted his mouth. Um, um. He just ate the key. Niggly. <laughs> he ate it! Are uh, uh. you about to make copies or are we just screwed? Ah. And he swallowed it! Beep, beep, beep. You got. Uh. No, he's not. Uh oh. What are you doing? If you swallow that key, you'll definitely choke on it. He's a robot. I don't think he cares. Someone might use this key for murder. Because keys are mysterious. If something bad happens, it would be too late. Let's get along. Boy, he is pale. What happened to you? I want everyone to get along. Mono Dom, you're so reckless. Let's carry Mono Dom away for now. We'll carry him like a kind of boss taking care of a drunk employee. So long, farewell. <laughs> oh, so does that mean we can't get the key? What the hell? <laughs> uh, 
but I'm only going to unlock this door when I'm inside working, so... I don't care if I can open the or close the door from the outside. Ah. Oh, I guess that's fine then. By the way, those guys said they know everything about us, right? That's probably why this lab fits Angie so tastes so well. So does that mean this school was specifically made for us? Yeah. Kind of said that. But. Onokuma has claimed that before, but is that really possible? Yeah. They kind of said that this giant complex was built just for the 16 of us? Yes! Only Atua knows for sure. It's a miraculous mystery that only Atua knows. No, he doesn't. But it doesn't matter. As long as it's comfortable, I'm fine. Uh, yep. If our lives are here become more enriched, then there's even less reason to leave this place. <laughs> That's true. Are we supposed to be okay with that? Kaede wouldn't be okay with that. What's this heap of stuff? Doesn't look like wood or stone. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is wax from making wax sculptures. Hmm. Wax sculptures. Wax sculptures, huh? You can make those, Angie? Yup, yup. Unlike wood or stone, wax has a soft texture for sculpting. Oh. Ah, okay. But Atua is one who's going to be doing all the sculpting. Okay. You really like this Atua dude. But, but... It seems like people have been making wax sculptures for a long time. In ancient times, death masks were used to be made from wax. <laughs> I'm a little sick, yeah. No, I'm not. A wax death mask? That's kind of scary. What in the world is that up there? Why do you need those? Anything else? Uh, I don't want to talk to... There's something else over here next to Kokichi. They're just not letting me... Oh no, it's still Kokichi. What else is there? I looked at the lump of wax. Angie, back door. This door isn't the one we used to come in. Um, this door is super crappy. I'm guessing this is the rear entrance. See? It's got a sliding lock just slapped on there. If I remember correctly. Ah, right. And the door that we used. Yeah. Has a knob and a cylinder lock. Hmm. The same classroom has two different kinds of locks for the doors. That's mildly infuriating. It's oddly suspicious too. See, it's, it's stuff like this. Remember like with the pool? How they had to get the measurements right? And what happened? It was used in a murder. I feel like certain places are just like that. Same thing that happened in uh, Kaede's trial. There was this whole thing about library and vents, and then next thing you know, there's a murder. No, no. It's perfect that they're not the same. Uh, symmetry is a Western beauty ideal. They like symmetry and the golden ratio and such. Again? But I think a symmetry and portion functions are more beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't really get it, but I suppose that makes sense. I can't stay long. I still haven't found that flashback light. I have other places to check. Well, I can get out of here now. Alright. This creepy ass. Wait, so this is the back door. Where does this look? 
mallet thing. What in the? Hanging scroll. What's this? It's hanging like a scroll, but it's blank. Uh, guess I don't do anything with that. Where is this? You know where I haven't checked? Oh, that's correct, Yos. Oh, we checked those rings. There's those two. This beat go hard though. And this is Maki's lab. I'm just getting mad level ups. I don't know what to spend them on though. Yes! That's me almost. Bugs of life. We don't care about a bug's life. There we go, let's go outside. Be an ultimate research lab from the, from the look of the building. The cake. It's the ultimate Aikido Master's lab. <clears throat> I'm sure of it. Well, all right, let's go inside. Don't be shy, Miko. Ladies first. What a pain. What a pain. Pushing Miko along, Tenko stepped inside the building. That's true. I suppose I should check inside too. Ooh. See what I mean? Like certain labs just be looking. Whoa, this is a huge dojo. The tatami mats are new and they smell nice. This is a big ass rock'em sock'em robot. What is this? It's a large doll made of wood and wait. Is it a doll? Is this supposed to watch over us and protect us? No. There's a scaffold suspend suspended in the air with chains. Is this for some kind of jump training? It's like a kung fu movie. Tell me, Matt, send you out. Well, what do you gotta say to all this, Tanko? Damn it! I have never heard you cuss. See? This is my lap, you jerk! Why? What did I do? Why are you angry? Wow! I'm so happy, I can't contain my emotions! What? Like an excited dog that pees everywhere! Wow. An emotional roller coaster, the complete opposite of Himiko. What, dude? The shade in this game. Everybody gets some. That's amazing. This is such a nice dojo. I'm sure sparring will be incredible here. But, but without a sparring partner. <laughs> Slam. <laughs> What was that for? 
Ow, ow, why are you throwing me? Listen up! Mio Akita was a super serious martial art. Instead of training, we should, well, we just fight head on. Mm. Now, Himiko, aim for the heart. Himiko, little bitty, huh? You're going to start with that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait. This is just kidding? Why did we go straight into actual fighting? Got it. You don't have a lot of confidence in yourself, do you, Shuichi? It's kind of the crux of this game. No, he does not. Huh? What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your lack of self-esteem. And because of that, you doubt your strength. You seem more confident than before, but I can tell you're still questioning yourself. Right! Well, I'm right, aren't I? I can tell when my sparring partner is burdened by doubt. Don't say all this and then commit murder. I will roast your ass. Kurumi, that... I hate Kurumi now. I can't look at no more Kurumi pics. Uh, okay. That did not come out right. You might be right. Listen up! You know what works real good at lifting all that doubt? Neo Akito! Because Akito itself is a Japanese martial art that treasures a pure heart above all else. Himiko! So how about you, Himiko? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, if you can sense my self-esteem, what her is looking like? Right. If we combine your magic with my Neo Akito, then we'd be able to solve things by force. By force? I thought this was about being pure of heart. Mm -hmm. Dog. I don't want to do any exercise. It's too much of a... She flipped your ass too. <laughs> this is so the thumbnail. I was gonna have the one with Shuichi. But this is the thumbnail. <laughs> Damn, almost broke her arm. Slam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. It seems you're still too shy to show your emotions, Himiko. What a waste. You have the richest heart of all. That's right. You should do Neo Akito, Himiko. Training your body will help you express your emotions. You can't control yours. What? Now come sweat with me, and afterward, we'll hit the showers together. What is with you in this child, woman? My, my back. I feel like turning you into a gross frog with my magic right now. Oh, you're angry. I can see it in your heart. You just threw her out of her magic hat. You exposed her haircut. You can't do that. Uh, okay. You and I can see that. Oh, I can get out now. Word. Let's go. This has been an eventful 24 minutes. It won't be. Whoa. What's that over there? <laughs> Come on. What's the big deal? I can't hold back any longer. What? But how? It's too soon. I'm not ready for that. What? So good. I won't make things worse, and he'll probably feel a lot better. Just the tip is fine. <laughs> what in the world is this game? We can take this relationship to the next level, please. <laughs> but me, we shouldn't. Come with me. It'll be fine. Just come with me. We'll do it together. What? Pulling on Kibo's arm, Miyu made her way to the Ultimate Inventors Lab. Uh, um... Wait, what was that? I feel like I just saw something I wasn't supposed to see. I should check to see what's going on, just in case. Well, you know, obviously we're going to go check that out. What in the world?
Careful not to make a sound. I opened the door to, and peeked inside. I heard a strange sound. When I looked for the source of the sound, my eyes were met with an unbelievable sight. Man, you're really plugged up. You're practically throbbing. Scratch that. This is the thumbnail. Throbbing with dust and debris, that is. Mm -mm. This is no good. No good at all. You must feel so pent up. I apologize. I've been neglecting my needs ever since I got here. Relax. I'll get it all out. Trust me. You'll feel much better afterward. Oh, um, uh, thank you? You know what I'm oh, looking at, y'all. Yeah, your chassis is firm. Really firm. Like, damn. Your body is seriously incredible. I've never seen one like this. Uh, careful, be gentle. That tickles. What are y'all looking at? This is amazing. Whoever put you together definitely knew what they were doing. Oh, I feel all tingly. You definitely know what you're doing, too. If you keep this up, I just might. You going what? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so that's the sound you make when I touch that spot. Good to know. What? Oh, at least get it off out of what? <laughs> I closed the door without a word. Dog, hold up. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. Uh. That scene was fucking stupid. This dude, Kibo, technically got laid before all of us did. Sorry, Shuichi. Your girlfriend died before she can get you some. <laughs> that Karumi. Damn. I don't know if that's demonetized or not. I mean, there was no nudity, but it was heavily implied, so I don't even know. He was just doing some maintenance on Kibo's body. That's all it was. She's installing a dildo vibrator with infinite power up as we speak. Indeed, nothing but that. Yo, I'm looking at you depraved kids, of course. Of course you thought something other than maintenance. Now what do I do with this rolling pin or this mallet thing? I don't even know. Where's the rest of you? Hey! What are you doing here? Monokuma stared at me in silence, then disappeared down the hallway. Uh, um... I suppose he wants me to follow him? What could be down there? Uh... Oh, okay, here we go. Look at Monokuma. He's glancing back and forth at me with... and the picture on the wall. 
Uh, um, this picture? I spent so long trying to find where to put this golden hammer. If I find out it goes here, I'm going to be hot. I see. It's not a canvas. It's a pane of glass. Hmm. Perhaps. I feel better. All right. It's worth a try. I held the hammer in my hand, faced the glass in front of me, and threw it as hard as I could. Three times, though? I knew it. Just as I thought, there's a hidden passageway here. Thanks, Monokuma. I don't know what he's up to, but he, this did really help us out. The passageway looked different than the haunted house, more like a factory. Hmm. This is eerie in a different way. So naturally... Computer room. Is that an Xbox One? That is the biggest Xbox One I ever seen. Is that the new one? A giant machine. I've never seen this before. What could this be? That is a gigantic Xbox, and you will lie if you say it's anything else. I wish I was about to tell me. That's a PlayStation 5. You bastards. If you've come this far, that means you've solved the painting puzzle. Wonderful. Excellent teamwork. Yeah? What teamwork? It's just Shuichi. Monotaro. You. You. That statement right there. You know what it is. For as much as I hate you. Real recognize real, man. I'm glad somebody gets it. It's just Shuichi. Kayede, gone. Karumi, gone. I'm out here with a bunch of idiots. It's just me. That puzzle was too difficult for one person to solve, but I did it. You ain't seen nobody else out here walking around with a golden hammer for hours. That was me. That was me. Fuck. I'm sure they got along and solved it together. Monodom, get your dumb ass out of here. You just pissed me off with that. Uh, let's just play along. We'll put ourselves in danger if we defy him. It's true. What they say, the serious ones are the scariest when they finally snap. I am certain it's not possible. But did that outdated piece of junk help you at all? Yes, Loki. So? Oh, yes, we should explain this room. This big, giant, robotic Xbox y'all got. So this is the computer room? Computer room? Ah! But this computer isn't just some ordinary computer. This computer you're looking at is, like, super amazing. If I remember correctly, it's so amazing, you can even use it to create a new world. Why'd that glow up? A new world. Okay. Yeah, a new world. You can use this to create a new world. Mm -hmm. Wait, you're supposed to tell him that. Wait, are we supposed to tell him that? I've already forgotten the plan. Uh, you totally said way too much. Sorry. Ah, I knew it. You're so forgetful, Monotaro. You gotta try to remember what you can and can't say. Sorry. Why didn't you help him, Monofanny? Eh? Right. 
You knew he was gonna tell too much. Why didn't you stop him? Why didn't either of you stop him? When you realized he was saying too much, you could have helped him, right? So why didn't you? I cannot forget your that. friends, right? So why didn't you help him? Overload! Overload! Stupidity overload! You sound like a Nickelodeon in credit. I will not forgive that If you can't get along, you will be punished. You too, Monotaro. Friends share everything, even punishments. Damn, even you get clapped. <laughs> what? Backfire? So long, farewell. <laughs> this machine can make a new world. What are they talking about? But I'm not good with computers. I don't think I'd understand it no matter how much I investigate. I had a green computer in the middle of the room. Right, go ahead and pop in Halo. I bet you this should have played. This machine can make a new world. What could that mean? How little I know about computers, I don't think I stand a chance. I guess I have no choice but to leave for now. I'll leave it be for now. Treasure chest. Here we go. I opened the chest eagerly and. Yep, I found one. A flashback light. And, like, obviously, there's no one else here but me. I don't feel slighted or anything. I'm just saying. Notice my MVP status, please. With this, I can find out what this place is. Why we're here. And why do you keep showing up? How did you find this place? Kokichi, you pissing me off, dude. Oh, you found the flashback light. Wow, you're pretty dependable despite that lame face of yours. I respect that. And despite your even lamer face, you didn't help with shit. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. I'll get the others. You just bring that to the dining hall, Shuichi. Okay. Well... Off I go. See ya. Uh, you good to getting people together. They all hate you. He chatted away and I couldn't get a word in edgewise. He left waving goodbye. Well, I guess I'm out of here now. To the dining hall. I'm going back to the factory. Going back to the factory. Going back to the factory. I want to Kuma look ugly. And he's back to the factory. Make more plushies. Where everybody else go? Oh. Why do I keep looking up like that? There's nothing up there. Man, if I could fast travel. Power editing, bro. Really? Shuichi, is it true that you found another flashback light? Okay. Yes, it's true. I see. Wait, so Kokichi wasn't lying. I'm stunned, startled, shocked. Thank goodness. See, I told you I wasn't lying. Good thing, too, because I don't want my pants on fire. Actually, I want to start talking about what we're going to do, but Kaito isn't here yet. Ah. Maki's not here either. What are those two doing? Ah. Maki's not coming? Oh, oh, Maki's not coming. I didn't invite her. Huh? You didn't invite her? Hey, hey. Forget about that killer. Hey, me, Keyboy. Did you guys see the computer on the fourth floor? Huh? Computer room, you say? Go on. Hey. Yeah, there was a big computer on the fourth floor. Did you take a look at it later? 
You or Kibo might know something about it, right? My apologies. I'm sorry. I'm not very computer savvy. What? Uh, oh, is that so? That's unexpected. You haven't too much to say. This chapter is also unexpected. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask, but Kibo, what is your talent exactly? He's the ultimate robot that don't really do ultimate robot things. Well, I can do all sorts of things, use a lot. Indeed. Oh, yes, I'm pretty good at one-man comedy shows if I do say so myself. One-man comedy shows. A humorless robot is good at one man. I love this game. I love this game. Don't worry. Keyboy's existence is the only ultimate thing about him. Other than that, he has got no talent. Do not mock me. I just told you I'm good at one man comedy shows. Hmm. I don't really get it. But we just need to check out this computer room, right? <laughs> but I'm not gonna come just for some computer. <laughs> it's gonna take way more than that. Uh, it's a really hmm. big computer. Well, the Mono Cubs did say it was amazing. Yo! Hey, thanks for waiting. Oh, Andy brought Maki. Ah. Uh. Kayato and Yeah, what were y'all doing? Huh? Uh, Maki? Why is Maki with you? Of course. Well, this is about that flashback light. So everyone should be here, yeah? When you say everyone, do you truly need to include a professional killer? Here's what I don't get, because in the first game, there was another professional killer. And she pretty much couldn't kill anybody because all the evidence which she left would have led to her getting caught. In this game, again, this is a professional killer, but since everyone's on edge and suspecting her anyway, she can't kill anyone anyone else dies, she's a prime suspect. Which will suck if she's not actually the killer. So, there's that. I'm leaving. Come on, man. Wait, hold on a sec. Kayato gripped Maki's arm before she could leave. By the way. Kayato, didn't you say you wanted to take down her mask or whatever? Got it. Yeah, I'm gonna take down her mask as a murderer. Huh? What? Hey, so... I just can't believe a girl like her is capable of killing people in cold blood. What? She's the ultimate assassin. That's all she does. Um... Is it true? Are you really the ultimate assassin, Maki? Have you... killed anyone before? Okay. Yes. I was about to say, man. At least he's honest about it. Really? But... Well, why you hide that? Go, Goku, come on now. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? It's so she could kill us all before we figured out her identity. If she had killed me, you guys would be screwed. If she killed one of you idiots, only you'd be screwed. <laughs> That's wrong. You're wrong. It's because I knew you guys would react this way. Another thing I kind of pointed out, like if every, she would be a prime suspect every time somebody else gets clapped. Huh? What do you mean, what? Would you trust an ultimate assassin? In a killing game? Boy. Because. When people learn my ultimate talent, they get the same fear in their eyes that you all have. Eventually, that fear will turn into hate. And then someone will try to kill me because they're afraid I'll kill them first. That's... That's not... Accurate, Shuichi. That's exactly what's going on here. What's the point? Whenever someone learns my, my real identity... They try to kill me. It happens every time. Always. Huh? Uh, 
Always. Hmm. You lived a pretty sad life, Maki. That's so mean. Oh, poor, poor Maki. I feel so sorry for you. I think I'm about to cry. Oh, I see. Because of everything you've been through, human life has no value to you now. Is that it? Look at the joy in this dude's face. Jeez. She's an assassin, not some murderous fiend. That's a reference, but I'm not going to say anything. Even if she did kill someone, that doesn't mean she thinks it's okay to. <gasps> hey, can you let go of me now? He's still holding her? Hmm? Oh. Kaito finally let go of her arm, and Maki let out a sigh. It's okay. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I kept it a secret and tried to avoid you guys as much as I could. Oh, but someone who doesn't know how to mind his business kept dragging me places. Huh? Oh. Are you talking about me? Well... I thought she'd be mad at Kokichi. He was the one that exposed her. However, I'll say this. I have no intention of killing any of you. Unless one of you tries to kill me first. <sighs> Having said that, you probably won't believe me anyway. Then? So, you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine. And we'll agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. Maki. It started out as a threat, but the last bit seemed a little sad. So much for that mask. You're so dumb. Jeez, Kayato, what were you thinking? Are you trying to turn us against each other? I think I speak for everyone when I say we're all disappointed in you. Right, guys? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but... Tell me your thoughts. Shall we finally get started? <clears throat> We've all gathered here for the flashback light, yes? Everyone! Yes, so have we all decided what we're going to do? Sneak attack! Use it, of course. We might be able to remember something new. Mm. Like the true purpose of the ultimate hunt? No. Well, we don't know for sure if that it's got anything to do with why we're trapped here. What was that? Don't give me that wishy-washy bullshit. Of course it's got something to do with why. Hey! Instead of arguing, it'd be way faster to just use it, you know? You're right. Yeah, Goku worried, but we gotta do it. But, but... No matter what we remember, you can't think about wanting to leave this place. And here you go. Come on, come on! If you think like that, uh-oh, we'll be... We'll just be repeating ourselves. You gotta be kidding me! I know that, and we can't go around repeating ourselves. We must do it. Then let's give it a try. Shuichi, go for it. Uh... Nervous. I'm sort of just plain nauseous. Everyone turned their eyes to me, and I flicked on the flashback light. And at that moment, once again, the world warped. Damn. This scene was a whole lot better when Kaede was doing it. Not, not implying anything, just saying. My consciousness went white, and somewhere in that whiteness... <laughs> Shut up, comments. A scene played. They were so young and talented. How could this happen? It looked like an accident they were running away from that group was it really just an accident though i honestly can't believe that i remember the scene what was that a funeral it was mine it was everyone's here huh why why was i at my own funeral what? That would be crazy to show up at your own funeral like, what the hell? How'd this happen? Only two people? That would probably be mine. Let's not talk about that. What? A funeral? You too, Shuichi? I see. 
It would appear we all remember the same thing. The fuck's going on? But what the fuck does it mean? Why was I watching your guys' funeral? And why was I there too? We died, no. Why? What the hell is going on? What was the funeral? Hmm. But the only thing I can remember is seeing that funeral. Nothing else. No way! Maybe we already dead? Ooh, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Jeez, this is so stupid. I couldn't help but laugh. I mean, there's no way that was our memory of our funeral. Then, what was it? I mean... It was probably the memory of our school festival or something. What kind of festivals do you attend that look like that? What? School festival? Right. That's like, right. What are you talking about? It was probably a memory from a play we did or for the school festival or something. Where all of the characters die? Pretty messy, Kaito. What else? You you are you are usually pretty good at capping, but you lost me, buddy. I mean, isn't it obvious if you just think about it? We are. What are you thinking? Of course. If that funeral is real, there's no way we'd still be alive. Yeah, but we got kidnapped, or probably people think we're dead. Mm, that's true. Um. But aren't we all from different high schools? Why would we have a school festival together? Well, that's. <laughs> that's well. And probably remember something else about it later. Got it. Anyway, there's no way that funeral funeral was real. There's no mistaking that. Logical. You're right. If we think about it logically, that's clearly out of the question. Thank goodness. Okay, good. Goku think everyone was already dead. Your bugs might be. Don't worry about it. Stop saying stupid stuff. Look at me. I'm alive. Hell and hearty. <laughs> hearty? Cause you got a heart on every time you see me? You have a heart on for Kibo. And abuse. Oh yeah! Oh! I heard males can tell they they're healthy by how hard they get in the morning. Is that true? What? A little bit. Hey, stay in your lane, bitch! Why did you get why did you get shy when you said what? Good for other people's dirty jokes. Then shut up. Like him. Actually, this is kind of odd. Why are you quiet? I'm disappointed. Ah, oh, man. What a disappointment. You don't get hard in the morning? Huh? A disappointment. <sighs> it's true. This flashback light was a real letdown. We didn't find out anything about the ultimate hunt. Just some weird memory. Okay. Yeah, um, seriously. Talk about a disappointment. Nuh-uh. I'm not talking about the memory. I'm talking about you guys. Huh? What? It's a lie. Oh, no. It's nothing. I'm just lying again. So don't worry about it. I wish you wouldn't have said anything in the first place. But more importantly, the memory of the funeral we saw... It can't be a memory of a real funeral. We have to learn more about this. No matter how hard I think about it, I can't wrap my head around it. After that experience, we ate a meal in the dining hall and returned to our rooms. Well, I'm gonna end it there. I should be on the free times after this, I think. I feel like there's some kind of secret about that funeral. I can't stop thinking about it. But it's hard to deduce anything from such a short scene. I could ask Monokuma for a hint. That would help, but... Hmm. He's all patchy now. I shouldn't waste my time trying to solve an unsolvable problem. I still have some time left today. Maybe I'll head out and clear my head. Yeah, so... 
i'll just see you bastards next time.